The 184 course is part of the new general education program and is an exciting opportunity to provide students with small, high interest courses as a part of their first year experience. An element of these course outcomes that is different from other courses is that it now contains an information literacy outcome. In a nutshell, information literacy includes a variety of concepts related to finding, evaluating, using, and otherwise engaging with information. The Association of College and Research Libraries provides a more expanded definition. You're likely already teaching information literacy skills in your courses. You may not be calling it that, but you snuck it in there. There's not one person or one department that's responsible for integrating these skills, nor is there one class that covers it all. Information literacy looks a little different depending on what discipline you're approaching it from, and development of those skills can be manifest in behaviors and dispositions that develop over a lifetime. Open-minded, critical research requires moving from the perspective that there's one right door to the perspective that there are many doors that may also be the right door. Making this switch in perspective can be a real challenge for students that manifests an information overload or complete withdraw from the process. Real conditions such as library anxiety or the perspective that they will be judged by information professionals for their lack of knowledge can further hinder students from resolving complex research problems. If we continue with the metaphor that the process of developing information literacy skills requires matching the right key to the right door, it can be really challenging for students to overcome if they're assuming everything has one password. Just like the development of critical thinking, reading comprehension, writing, analysis, and so many other critical skills taught in general education, information literacy is one that requires continual review and practice. Intentional thinking about the information skills at play or required of your students can help you design meaningful assignments that help them acquire the skills they need. While there are a lot of reasons to start introducing students to information literacy concepts early, some include students' use of books and web-based library services had a positive relationship with academic outcomes, use of library research services was positively associated with the academic engagement in academic skills, enrollment in library courses was positively associated with grade point averages. Use of the library at least one time in their first year of enrolling significantly increased the odds that students would graduate in four years or remain enrolled after four years as opposed to withdrawing from the university. So getting students connected to quality resources is really, I think, at the core of what's going on here and providing them with a skill set that's going to allow them to uh, reasonably interpret and find reliable information. Another piece of research suggests that student retention and grades were positively reflected when students made use of library instruction. Knowing a bit about where students are coming from with regards to information literacy can also be helpful. In research from 2013, 80% of students reported having overwhelming difficulties with getting started on research assignments and determining the nature and scope of what their instructors required of them. You can only imagine that issue has been exacerbated with the rate of information growth and sharing that happens today. Project Information Literacy also asked employers what they saw in student information literacy skills who responded with students were technology savvy but tethered to their computers and rarely went past a Google search and the first page of results looking for the answer, suggesting that there is only that one right answer. This is not surprising, but a bit concerning based on psychology research that found individuals with access to the internet were more likely to overestimate their knowledge of a topic. Not surprisingly, students are more likely to value information literacy instruction if they feel it has personal relevance to their learning. And as an instructor, this is where tying examples into a class are going to be more meaningful to your students. If you're teaching a 184 course at CWU, you probably already know what the outcomes should look like. The one that specifically relates to information literacy is number six, engage in library-led information literacy session and apply best practices for evaluating information sources in scholarly research. Methods of assessment include evidence of participation in library-led information literacy session and ability to find, determine credibility of, interpret, and use scholarly works based on established criteria. 
there are a variety of methods for integrating information literacy into your classes, and we'll try to go through a few. Given the layered nature of how we interact with information, engaging students in class discussions can be a meaningful way to work through some of the more complex ways of understanding what we often take for granted. Here are a few discussion questions that could be used to engage your students in more, more critically with information within your specific discipline. And these are uh, supposed to be pretty general. Another method for getting your students information literacy school tools is to download the 184 library module into your course from Canvas Commons. This page has some visual direction on where to find it. This module is designed to be pretty self-contained and complement a variety of course topics. Material covered in this module is based on common information literacy concerns we've seen surface in prior information literacy assessments for first year students at Central Washington University. It has two self-grading quizzes that can be used to check student knowledge before and after the module. Integrating information literacy into your class can look a, like a lot of different things, but we hope it doesn't look like significantly more work for you to do. This module is designed with a hope of alleviating some of that preparation work to accomplish this specific outcome. Remember, you can also contact your library liaison for help with integrating information literacy into a 184 course.